The title of this report is Thermal Motion of Atoms at Melting of the Ice of Carbonated Water. There are two kinds of thermal motion at melting of ice. One is thermal motion of cluster, and the other is rotational thermal movement in a cluster. The objective of observation is, is the ice possible to transport the molecules? Two types of thermal motion of water were investigated by observing of bubbles. When carbonated water was freeze to ice, the bubbles were appeared as shown in the photograph. The bubble of carbon dioxide is able to distinguish from the ice. The movie in this presentation was captured through the digital camera, Pentax Optio W90. We are able to observe the thermal motion of water on the polycrystalline ice by zooming up. In this video, we can see many shapes of bubble in the ice. So, we can consider the mechanism of bubble in ice. The microscopic mechanism depends on the lattice structure of ice. It is a helical structure, as shown in the model. There is a penetrating hole along the optical axis in the network of helixes. There are hydrogen atoms inside of the penetrating hole. This penetrating hole is possible to hold the molecule of carbon dioxide, because each carbon atom is covered with a pair of oxygen atoms. Here, let us consider the thermal motion on the molecule. When each molecule of water vibrates rotationally around an electric axis with keeping helical structure, the pair of hydrogen atoms along an electric axis vibrate simultaneously. This vibration accompanies with the fluctuation of the volume. The rotational motion of hydrogen atom operates the function of a gear. Next movie shows the bubble that is discharged from the melting ice of the carbonated water. These are evidences to support the idea that the helical structure operates the function of the pump to transport the molecules. The helical structure is important for the metabolism of creature. The last movie shows the last stage of melting ice of carbonated water. You can observe movement of bubble in the ice. 